a rectangular pool is 7 meters by 8.5 meters and is surrounded by a path 1.4 meters wide. Now this image I got from Google. So what they're saying is, this is say the length. Okay, this seems to be longer. So say this is 8.5 meters. And this is 7 meters. And there's a path which is 1.4 meters all around the pool. So I say, well, this this the length from year to year is 1.4 meters. So the distance from year to year is also 1.4 meters. So the first question is, what is the area of the pool? So the area of the pool is base times height or length width times length or length times width. So which is 7 meters times 8.5 meters. So you can do this without or uh, with the calculator, but I'll use the calculator. So focus is not uh, calculation. So this is 7 times 8.5, which is 59.5 meters squared. So the unit is very important. So whenever I do any example of measurement, I always write the unit at each step. So you may not write meters and meters again here, but I would recommend that you write this step. So first thing that you do is you multiply the numbers and then you multiply the units. Okay, so you also multiply the units. So multiplying the numbers you got 59.5 and multiplying the units meter times meter gives you meter squared. Okay, now the path, the second question is what's the area of the path? Now this is a pool, this is a pool and this is your path. Okay, now I want you to think how you find the area of this path. There's a relation between these two rectangles to find the area of the path. So you can pause this video if you want and think how would you find the area of the path. Hopefully you have thought about it. So the length here, so let me say this is 8.5 meters. This is the same pool and this is 7 meters. Okay, and the width of the pool, or sorry, the path is 1.4 meters this way, and also 1.4 meters this way. It doesn't look, it's not drawn to scale. So to find, I hope you understand the area of the path, this part is the area of the brown rectangle minus the area of the pool. So the distance from this point to this point would be 8.5, meters plus 1.4 plus 1.4 because this distance is also 1.4. This is where many of you can go wrong. So this will be 2.8 meters. So let us do without the calculator. So this is 0.5 plus 0.8 is 1.3 meters and this is 10. So this is 11.3 meters. You can use the calculator. And this would be 7 meters plus, again, the same thing, same logic, 2.8 meters. You've got 1.84 meters here and 1.4 meters here. So this is 1.4 meters, so which is 9.8 meters. So always write good to draw and write the measurements along all the lengths and the widths. So area of the path, area of the path would be the area of the outside rectangle, which is 11.3 meters. I'll write the units all times the width is 9.8 meters. So this is the area of the brown rectangle, 9.8 meters minus we already know the area of the pool we already done this so we don't need to do this again so the minus 59.5 meter squared so let me get my calculator out so this is 11.3 so i'll type in 11.3 times 9.8 which is 110.74 take away 
which is 51.24 meters squared. So the area of the path is 51.24 meters squared. Okay, now the third question is, if the pool is 1.6 meters deep, so this is, so this is your length, which is say 8.5 meters. The length is 8.5 meters and the width is 7 meters. Okay, so this is a, imagine this is a pool and it says that water is filled with, so, so the tank is filled, pool is filled with water up to 15 centimeters from the top. So this is, this is 15, this total length, the total height, okay, so the total height, is this height, so let me draw, this. so this is 1.6 meters. So this is, this total height is 1.6 meters. We are interested in this height. We are interested in this height. So this is empty. So this is, this height is 15 centimeters. 15 centimeters, if you change that into meters, is 0 0.15 meters because one meter is 100 centimeters. So this height is 1.6 take away 0 0.15. So this height would be 1.45 meters. This is 1.45 meters. So that will give us the volume of the water because this is the water. This is the water up to this height. Okay, so the volume of water volume would be length times width times height. Volume would be L times W times height. So length is 8.5 meters. So I'll write the units always. Your width is 7 meters and your height is not 15 centimeters. The height is 1.45 meters. So let me get the calculator out. So 8.5 times 7 times 1.45 gives 86.275, 86.275 meter cube. This is an answer. This is uh, how much water is there. So this much meter cube. But when you're talking about water, it makes sense to talk in liters. Okay. Now, one fact you should know that one meter cube is equal to 1,000 liters. Now, this is a fact you should be knowing. But if you don't know, it may be there in your formula sheets. Okay. Now, one meter cube, students don't understand what is one meter cube. Imagine a cube of one meter by one meter by one meter. So let me draw a simple, this is not, this is only a sketch of a cube. Imagine this is a cube of one meter by one meter by one meter. That means the length, the height is one meter. The length or the width is one meter and the length is also one meter. Okay, so this is, imagine a cube of one meter by one meter by one meter. This will contain 1000 liters. Okay, I hope you can visualize a cube of one meter cube. So now to change this into, to change this into liters, if you know that one meter cube is 1000 liters, this would be 86 Point two seven five times one thousand liters, which is eighty six thousand two hundred and seventy five liters. So this tank will have contain eighty six thousand two hundred and seventy five liters of water. Okay, the last question: If the pool is filled at the rate of thirty liters per minute. How long will it take to fill the fill the pool 15 centimeters from the top? So this we have already done. So what they're saying is it takes, say, for 30 liters, it takes one minute. 
that's the question. So the question is, if you have 86,275 liters, 86,275 liters, how long will it take? So, so 86,275 liters, how many minutes is the question? So, well, that would be 86,275 divided by 30. That would be in minutes. So first, first, let us change this into minutes. So this is uh, time signal by 1,000. Will give me 86,275 and divide by 30. The answer would be in minutes. So this is in minutes. And I want to change this into hours, so divide by 60, which is 47.93 hours. So this is 47.93 hours. So let me change this into a sensible answer. So this is 47 hour, hours, 47 hours. And this 0 0.73, 0 0.93, if I want to change that into minutes, I have to times that by 60. So again, let me, so 47, so 0 0.93 times 60 would give me 56 minutes. So you can say to be exact up to a complete minute, so it is 47 hours and 56 minutes uh, exact up to the nearest minute. It takes 47 hours and 56 minutes to fill this tank if the tank is being filled at the rate of 30 liters per 